What? Let's just jump into it. I got a bunch of comments asking how I did this, so I apologize if you're a functioning member of my audience and don't want to see a tutorial on this. But for the rest of you shit lords, listen up, grab a beverage, and please get ready to spam my comments with the fact that you don't have Adobe. This effect commonly goes by the name Content Aware Scale. According to Adobe, Content Aware Scale resizes an image without changing important visual content such as people, buildings, animals, and so forth. But nobody cares about that because we're going to use Content Aware Scale to make our memes. Uh, great again. <laughs> First off, find the clip that you want to use. Wow. Bring it into Premiere, pop that sucker onto the timeline. Then you're going to export it. We're going to select a forbidden option now, so prepare yourselves. We're going to select, oh god, animated GIF. I know, this is cursed. An important note here, you can bypass this step by just downloading a GIF in the first place, but if you care about the audio or the full scene, you gotta do this step. Up next, you're gonna open Photoshop. I know, the hits keep on coming. Import the GIF you just exported from Premiere. Or if you downloaded the GIF, just import the GIF. If you don't see this timeline that I have up here, don't worry about it, just go to Window and select Timeline. By default, it lives on the bottom of the screen. Okay, now this is where the effect happens. In the description below, I've linked, oh my god, this video just keeps it's getting worse. I've linked a Tumblr post. I feel like I need a shower now. Neil, you're a legend. But Tumblr... <clears throat> Within that post is a Photoshop script. I'm gonna need you to download that Photoshop script. Now you're gonna go to File Scripts Browse and load up the script you just downloaded. You'll be presented with this little window. Quick aside, you can also be a big brain and unzip that download into Photoshop's script folder. If you're wondering what exactly these sliders do, I'm gonna put all the information on the screen right now. You can pause it and read it. But the too long didn't read version is you're gonna play around with these sliders, run the script and see what it looks like. This is what it looks like if you take the ending height and width and turn them way down. Wow. And this is what it looks like if you take the ending height and width and turn them way up. Wow. And this is what it looks like with a high starting width and height. Wow. You guys get the idea. Just go in there, run the script, move the sliders around, and see what happens. Worst case scenario, you can always re-import the GIF and start over. Keep in mind this takes a second to process, so it's a good time to exit the room or watch some roast bullshit on YouTube like this channel. Also, the more extreme you separate the sliders, the longer it's going to take. Zero to a hundred, real quick, in the mighty words of Drake. When it's done processing, you can hit the space bar to play it back. My Photoshop typically has a stroke when I do this. If you're satisfied, awesome. Go to File, Export, Render Video, and Export This Abomination that you just created. I typically use the H.264 codec here, but quality is not going to be the foremost concern in mind when doing this export because this script will desecrate the quality beyond recognition. Also, make sure you change your frame rate to match whatever your Premiere project is, otherwise the audio is not going to line up properly. Then you can hop back into Premiere, import the exported now content aware scaled video, and you're in the game. This is something I found to be important. The effect works best on close-up shots. I feel like you need the details of the face to really see it happen. Fucking thing sucks! It doesn't work as well on wide shots. I wanted to do this whole scene from Midsummer, and it just didn't come out that well. I will say it's pretty disturbing in its own way that this made Danny look like Reuben though. Another thing to keep in mind is lower contrast and lower resolution scenes will really fall apart with this effect. They'll start to get very mushy looking. It's not personal. Ah! I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! That's an overreaction. Much like the deep ride video tutorial though, there are ways to augment the effect to make it even more impactful. For example, this sequence from The Office doesn't feel right with its normal audio. So let's right click and edit in Adobe Audition. And I'm gonna pause the video for one quick second here. The amount of comments I got asking why is Adobe Audition grayed out really was unfortunate. So this note is for people who asked that question. If Adobe Audition is not installed, you can't open it. So install the program and you'll be able to open it. Okay, back on track. The effect that you're looking for is a type of flanger. So go under effects, modulation, and flanger. You can go through the presets to see which one feels most appropriate. In this case, I used too many pills. Once you're satisfied, control or command S to save and it'll go right back into Premiere through Adobe's dynamic link. <laughs> I'm 
That's no reaction. Uh, well, that was, that's pretty great. I don't think there's any possible way we could make that better. You could always deep fry it if you want, but I already went through that in my deep fried video tutorial. So go watch that video because I'm not going to rehash all that here. Well, that's about all. Go forth and shit post, my children, for that's, uh, that's how you, that's how you do it. Can you tell I don't script these videos? <laughs> but in any case, I'm glad I got around to making this tutorial. Sorry it took like a year. I do know that my deep fried meme tutorials are some of the most popular videos I've made on this channel. Gee, I wonder why 85.6% of people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Hmm. At least it's becoming less of a sausage fest though. I also realized way too late into this video that I didn't have RTX voice turned on and the dryer was running, so the audio is just great on this video, but Anyway, that's all I got for you. If you haven't seen it, make sure you watch the deep fried video tutorial. And yeah, I'll uh I'll see you around. All right. Bye. Like, like and subscribe. And subscribe. Sweet, Sweet new photography. photography. Dumb. Dumb.